How's everybody doing out there? This is Chris Ward. Uh, hello, my Legal Shield family. I just wanted to take an opportunity to do a quick video tutorial on how to post links on your Facebook business page. So you're looking at my screen right here. Uh, this is my my business page uh, as uh, as directed from our corporate office. And uh, before I get started, I definitely wanted to say thank you and uh, provide credit to um, Patrice Robinson out of uh, London, Ontario, Canada. He's the gentleman that has taught me these hacks. And um, so I wanted to make sure that uh, I give credit where credit is due. But I get a lot of questions from associates asking me about how I was able to uh, post links with uh, attractive images. Um, I want to start off by saying first a couple of things. Is one is, is that uh, building out your Facebook business page should not be something you take a lot of time at. Um, it's really, uh, it's just another tool. It will be more beneficial down the road as more people are Google searching Legal Shield. But for right now, uh, building out your page is great, uh, but don't spend a lot of time there uh, because uh, it's only one net of the many that we use to bring in prospects. And so just wanted to show you a couple of uh, tools that you already have at your disposal. Um, the best times to post are typically Monday through Friday is about noon to 3 p.m. Those are your prime uh, Facebook post hours um, outside of that. And the other thing I'm going to ask you to do is not to continuously post. Um, typically, when you fill somebody's news feed with posts, they're going to unfollow you or unlike your business page, and you don't want any of that. Um, so I'm going to go right in. I'm just going to, and I'm not going to take a lot of time, but I just want to show you a couple. So here's my Facebook business page. Now, one of the tools that we have at our uh, disposal is uh, provided through our prospect by Legal Shield. So when we log in, you're going to see over here, you see dashboard, contacts, rewards, campaigns, and the resources. Well, when you click on resources, uh, go over here to category, and you'll see this uh, essentially fourth category down is capture and landing pages. And I don't think a lot of people actually know what to do with their landing page. And so what this does essentially is it creates a web, one single web page where it, uh, they, they also can call it a landing page, um, where somebody can go in, take a look at your website, and then uh, write in information. So I have chosen today that I'm going to, I want to put in a little recruiting plug on my Facebook business page. So this is a tool. Now, as I post this, I also want to, there would be a caveat, is don't share other associates' posts. As, as much as you think that that, you know, you're just, um, the typically, and especially if you're dealing with a veteran internet marketer, um, they already have this rigged for themselves. And if you share a post, you might uh, unknowingly be sharing a link back to some other associate's website. So you'll see that this one uh, specifically goes to me. Uh, this is my site because right up here you'll see the page number. So if you look here, you see the ID numbers here. These are your page numbers here. And then when you look, this here, this 736, that's my associate ID number. So I have this link here. So I'm going to copy and paste it into my, right here is my post. So the first thing I'm going to do is post the link. And I'm not going to hit publish yet. Boom. So I'm going to let this drop down. And you'll see um, there's some writing here, some basic writing down here. Um, that's two sentences, so that's that's all right. I, I don't mind that. And business design for millennials. Um, I'm gonna. I may change that. Um, I'll leave it. So what I want to do is, is now the image. You realize that there's no image attached to this website. So I'm gonna go down here to where this cross is. I'm gonna click on that. Now I already have a file. So I have a legal shield, and then I have my capture pages. So I already have images here. So the image I want, I'm going to go over here and look. So 
So I already have language based on all of these. So I'm going to, you see this is the one right here, do life your way. So there's the link. I copied into a Word document. Then I have some writing right here. But first we're going to get the picture. Now corporate office has already provided us with pictures that they essentially interact with the, so I'm using do your life, do your life, and then I marked it as one, so I know which one I'm going to. So when I see do your life, uh, do life your way one, that's the image I want. And you'll see that the photograph also matches the page itself, and it'll be more clear once I publish it. But then you need some language. What, what is the language you want associated with that? So I'm going to put here, copy and paste this. And then again, uh, Patrice Robinson is the one that gave me all this language. You can now, as soon as that's posted here, you can actually cover up that link. So boom, got my link in there, got my image. Now I'm going to choose my preferred audience because our opportunity only exists in the United States and Canada. And I don't need 13 year olds, so I'm gonna go 18 to 65. I'm going to leave it as all men and women because the opportunity is available for everybody. Out of location, so I'm going to go United States. And Canada. So there is my language. i got my age. Now, my preferred audience is I want to reach out to people who are interested in this sort of thing. So I may say, um, um, well, we'll... We're looking for millennials, so let's go millennials as an interest. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, business opportunity. Maybe work from home. And then uh, so what are some of the reading that, uh, what about rich dad, poor dad? Here's the book. You see, look over here, you'll see the number of people that are interested in this subject. So I have one point, almost two million people are interested in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, the book, uh, which all opens it up to Think and Grow Rich, maybe Napoleon Hill. Um, you can just say, uh, perhaps uh, you want to find people that are interested in network marketing. So we have Network Marketing Pro here, which is a book. Um, what about uh, multi-level marketing? So you can really put as many interests in there as you want. Um, so we have our audience restrictions. We've had our preferred audience. I've got my location all set up. So now I'm just going to hit publish. So as you'll see now, I have a beautiful image right here with a little bit of description above and beyond. And then when somebody's at my Facebook page, all they have to do is click on that, and now they're in my landing page. So when they put their contact information here, it's going to go back into my contacts, uh, into my email campaign for Prospect by Legal Shield. So that is one way to post a link. Now, uh, I also get people to say, well, um, I don't want to post anything from my from LegalShield.com. They're afraid that their prospect is going to accidentally or, on uh, matter of fact, just sign up on the corporate website. Well, if you're doing your job right, that probably won't happen. And it does happen sometimes. But if you're doing your job right, that shouldn't happen. But let's just say we want to share something from our Facebook business page. Um, I can create it so that every official Facebook page, or I'm sorry, official website page you see me over here in the upper right-hand corner. It says, contact me. So they can come in here and fill out their contact information. This goes with every time I send a link. So let's just say that uh, our, our company does an incredible job on their blogs. So if you scroll all the way down here under Why Legal Shield, you see blog right here. So I'm going to share an article from our, our page. So um, advice every pet owner should follow. Uh, let's see. Now you can share from here your website legal checklist. Um, risk management, do not leave your business survival to chance. Tax identity theft awareness week. 
uh, critical information about divorce. That's a hot topic. So you see here that we have an, uh, a, a blog that uh, somebody can sit here and um, read through, and it's got some great information. But how do I typically what associates would do would just copy and paste this. How am I going to make this my website? Is I want you to follow the URL with a question mark. Then it says hub with an equals symbol and then your username. Now once you have that, you can copy this, go over here to my back to my business page. I'm gonna and I'm gonna follow almost the same thing. So I'll click on the link and I'm gonna wait until it pops up. Now I may take a look at take a look at this image and be like, you know what? I like this image. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Uh, look down here real quick, critical information of up, um, I may say, click here for critical information about divorce. Um, typically, I don't like sentences that are being, that are left open, but I'll leave this one. Uh, it's not too long. Uh, and then you want to put something up here. So I may uh, go back to my blog. Close that out now. So I may say it is vitally important that you understand legal issues that frequently arise during a, if you are considering a divorce or have questions, call your legal shield provider law firm and speak with an attorney. So I'm going to copy that. I like that's a nice little statement here. Throw that in there. Um, if you want, you, you can have, uh, like me, I maintain my own sort of image database, if you will. Uh, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to. So under, I believe it's under images, but let me check. Okay, so what is, an, so I actually have one from another divorce-related post that I did. So I'm going to use that image. So I'm going to come down here instead. If I can find my, so you see I have a lot of stuff on my, so social media, I'm going to go down here to images, I should have remembered, of course it's going to be like the last image in here, let me see what the name of that image was. What is an uncontested divorce? And it was under social media. Okay, so. So what is an uncontested divorce? So I'm going to use this picture instead. I like it better. So what you do is when you have multiple pictures here, you only want to use one of them. So I'm going to unclick that one. And you'll see that this is going to pop in as about my, uh, but again, okay, who are we targeting? Because we are only in a couple states. So my audience restrictions, uh, hopefully we're not talking to 13-year-olds that are getting a divorce, but we're also in the United States. And Canada and then our preferred audience is we probably want to look at people that are interested in divorce so look at that 45.5 million people so divorce maybe child custody child support um, alimony family law uh, husband wife because we could be talking to either or uh, no fault divorce, an annulment, family court. I mean, there, there's really just inre irre ah, they are irreconcilable differences. So you can really just, again, follow as many interests as possible. And um, this is showing, as you see in the description to the right, uh, 1.3 million people uh, who have expressed interest in uh, or like pages related to alimony. So now that we've got our interests, um, we'll go up here, uh, and I'm going to say something like, uh, so this here reason divorce is vital. I'm going to cut this off.
So since I changed, I'm going to say click here for critical information about divorce. Now again, this is just going back to a blog. So, but I'm going to show you something that's going to happen here. Is is that remember I used my URL attachment to it, so it doesn't. There you go. So now it's in there. Click here for critical information about divorce. So what happens when they one of one of one of our one of the people reads it? They click on here, but look at the, this is where the magic happens. My contact me is still in the upper right hand corner. Now, granted, this is my computer, so it's going to be up there anyway. But if you look here where the URL is, that's my username at the end of this. So let's just say that the person reads the blog and they're like, huh, you know, I'd love to read more. I'm going to read more here. Uh, I'm going to go up here and um, maybe ask, uh, what is this here? Let's look at the uh, plans and pricing. So they can move around the website as much as they want. And I'm always going to be the associate. So if they, at any one point they decide to go buy it, my name autofills into the uh, membership application. So when they go to check out, they're signing up with uh, my info. So my associate number, look right here, referral information, associate name, associate ID, already in there. That is a good way to prevent people that you're sending to the corporate website to, to not sign up directly through corporate. And if you find out that one of your members did and you didn't get credit for it, it's a simple call to the corporate office and they'll be able to give you the credit. It takes 24, 48 hours to turn that around anyway. So that is uh, two hacks as far as getting links put onto your Facebook business page. You saw me do two examples. Um, I wouldn't keep it. I would, I would do one post per day maximum and make sure that you do it sometime between 12 and 3 p.m. Monday through Friday and 12 and 1 on Saturday and Sunday. So with that, um, again, this isn't a big income producing thing. Very, very rarely do I get people that are going to sign up on my website based on a post that I did on my Facebook business page. However, it will be more important down the road. Uh, the other thing, I, really quick, I just want to make sure is that when you're inviting people to like your page, don't invite a lot of associates. I wouldn't even invite any associates to like your page because now your my post is going to be in their news feed. And what associates do is they see this article and they say, oh, this looks really good. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to share it to my page. Well, the challenge is now you have shared the link to my website with your prospects. So don't do this. This is something that I've, and you saw how quickly I was able to throw these uh, websites up there. I didn't really write any of my own stuff. So um, it's really is something that you shouldn't be spending more than a couple of a few minutes on, um, maybe once a day to post and that's it. So thank you for taking time. I hope that that answered a lot of associates questions on posting to their Facebook business page, um, follow all the other marketing guidelines. And uh, just so you know, then our associates only back office, Mr. Brian Carruthers does an incredible uh, training on how to effectively use Facebook. So, um, Tune into that and uh, stay tuned to some other of our uh, video tutorials on how to uh, build your Legal Shield business online. Thank you for your time.